Welcome to Yellowstone National Park, a place where millions of people come every year. And with all this wildlife and beauty, people want connectivity to share their images on social media. How do you keep up with wireless demand while preserving the reason people come here? We're gonna talk discreet wireless coverage next. Here at Yellowstone, park officials are making upgrades to developed areas so that more tourists can use their cell phones in areas like this. And what's great is that a lot of these improvements are being made so it doesn't have a negative impact on the park scenery. I am now joined by the commissioner of the FCC, Brendan Carr. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good to have you here. So you've worked tirelessly to bring broadband coverage and wireless coverage to rural areas all over the United States. This is a rural area, but it's also a national park. How do you balance that? Yeah, our top priority at the FCC is getting more broadband to more Americans. We spend a lot of time outside of DC to see the challenges of connecting more communities. And when we do that, we have to balance the needs of getting more connectivity in the parks while making sure that we take reasonable approaches so we can get connectivity while preserving the viewscape uh, for the visitors to the parks. So what are you doing across all the national parks to keep people connected? Yeah, we're working more broadly to try to speed the deployment of internet infrastructure needed. Our ultimate vision is to make it easier to install the towers, the cell sites, deploy the fiber, to make sure that every part of the country has a fair shot at next generation connectivity, while obviously protecting the legitimate interests of the landholders. There's some big implications with connectivity, right, across the entire United States and rural areas, having faster connections. Yeah, no matter where you live, if you get this broadband connection, you can get access to a 21st century education. And telehealth is uh, the other big one as well. You can insert specialists and in high quality care no matter where you live, and we're seeing it save lives, save money in the healthcare system as well. So does the FCC and the Park Department work together on all this? Yeah, we have an important obligation here. We're both working to get more broadband deployed. I mean, the folks here that are managing this land have full-time day jobs that keep them more than busy. Adding on top of that, having to work through these permitting process can be asking a lot of them. So I think we all have to be reasonable about it, try to move timely, and work together to speed build out. So this right here is pretty cool. I walked up and I said, where's the tower? It's so hidden, so well done. Yeah, I agree with you. And we pulled up and I was expecting to see a tower site and you look and you can't really see it. And you walk up, pretty well disguised tower site. I think that's a great thing. There's ultimately gotta be a balance here. You know, when you go to camouflage, it can be up to 10 times the cost. Obviously we're on a national park, on national land, surrounded by pine trees. It makes sense here to put something like this up. Having coverage means putting the infrastructure in place, and that doesn't just magically happen. I'm joined now by Leland Langstrat, and you actually put in a fairly complicated site here in the park. What were some of your challenges? One of the biggest challenges was the remoteness of this site. Uh, this site is uh, several hours away from the closest city hub. Getting logistics coordinated to the site was very challenging. We hauled hundreds of yards of concrete and thousands of tons of rebar and other materials. How did the geography play into this? I mean, we're pretty high altitude, right? Yeah, the geography was a real challenge. The altitude at the summit is a little over 10,000 feet, and we had uh, several equipment operators operating at some very dangerous terrain. So this is a massive site and a lot went into it. What are some of the benefits gonna be? The benefits are gonna be, you know, wireless coverage in a wilderness area. We're becoming more and more dependent on our devices every day. So having this coverage everywhere is very important. Yellowstone Glacier Yosemite. These are special places that deserve special care while we go about our jobs giving people the ability to connect. That deserves a special shout out to tower crews, park management, and everyone involved who makes the connectivity possible while respecting these landscapes. Stay safe, my friends.